let's continue with 20 minutes till dawn. And uh, hold on, let me alt tab to my roll a d7. I will roll a seven and I will roll a three. So we'll play Abby with the crossbow. Right click to quickly shoot all of your remaining ammo in random directions crossbow. This seems horrible. <laughs> Basically, if I right click, I fire my crossbow once with a non power shot in a random direction. Is that how this works? Let's see. Yep. Okay, something tells me we're not going to be using the right click like at all. <laughs> this might be the worst gun for the for the character. That being said, it's one of the strongest guns. So I'm hoping that we'll still be okay. It is pretty bad, though. Um, we don't really need power shot at all. We already do enough damage to kill everything in one hit. Um, everything else sucks though, so I guess we're going power shot. This is very bad, it's a one head play. It is pretty bad, isn't it? But I like the crossbow. Especially the, um, the changes they made to it making it a charge crossbow. I think it's really nice, because it's a unique weapon now, as opposed to just a one shot revolver or something. It's got a charge effect on it. And when you charge it up, <sighs> we don't really need these. I guess we'll take um, Splinter then. When you charge it up, you um, get more piercing on the shot too. So it looks like the crossbow does five damage. Yeah, on a Splinter shot. It's not, it's not, Amazing, but we do kind of need some crowd control, so I'll take what I can get. We can always add in like burn and stuff to this later. Light weaponry deals as much damage as your bullets. This is what we're going to be taking. It does 38 damage, and our crossbow uncharge does 34? 54? No, 30. Okay, so the, that was the third shot that had infinite piercing and like double damage or something because of our rune perks. Still. Dun, 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 dun. But yeah, this dagger is pretty good because it'll it'll just one shot all of these enemies to begin with, and then we're gonna up its damage, get more daggers. Yeah, just forty percent bonus damage. I mean, in theory, I don't even have to attack anymore. I could just run, or I could just right click. <laughs> you know, it, it is helpful if I'm just trying to like collect experience, run around, right click, fire a shot. <laughs> Probably, you know, rate of fire is, or sorry, fire rate is good because it does improve your charge time. Let's go for the movement speed. We want to, we want to get walk so that we move at regular speed while charging. This seems like a pretty bad <laughs> gun. Well, ra rather, it just doesn't synergize with the character at all. We're just going to have to work harder. Not like we're having too much of a hard time right now. I mean, we're doing 300 damage on a full power shot. Oh, dude, reload rate's so good, but so is heavy weaponry. I mean, at this point, I can just right click. Hold on. You know what I like about um, 20 minutes till dawn here? Is that all the upgrades do what they say they're gonna do and what you think they're gonna do. So like, if we get plus summon attack speed, the, the dagger will fly faster, the scythe will orbit faster, like it all just works. It does, it, it's a logical upgrade to what is a summon. Just run around, it's the vampire survivor's experience. Yeah, but I get to shoot. Oh, you're saying when I don't shoot, is it's just running around the Vampire Survivor's experience. You know, I guess you're not wrong. Just run around and right click. Okay, we want a milk chug. Oh, hi. Thank you very much for the resub. Good to see you. I think we want double shot, more projectiles. We want spread so we can get extra kills. Good to see you. This is going just fine so far. Our experience is like really spread out. That's not too bad.
Okay, let's go get our uh, our character perk and, you know, make our right click fire faster for one bullet. <laughs> dragon egg? You know, if we're going summon damage, let's go for the dragon egg. Let's go full on summons. Projectiles plus two fire rate lower spread higher. This seems great. Th this doesn't affect the right click. This is just my normal shot. Yeah, that's amazing. Fire rate down kind of blows, but I don't have to full power. Oh my god, Abby actually has an upgrade that is good. <laughs> Who would have thought? Okay, give me, um... Bullet speed, piercing... We don't really need this tree at all. I have to sneeze. Excuse me, what's Abby's upgrade? It was just two more projectiles. So instead of two shots, now we have four shots for every pull of the trigger. Seems nice. Um, I don't like any of these. Magic lens, we're not going to be firing through the magic lens all the time. Electro Mage, we're firing so slowly, this is terrible. Take aim, we don't need bullet speed. We don't need piercing. So we would take it for the eventual damage and the eventual assassin ability. Uh, I think, I hate to say it, because I don't think it's any good, but I guess we're gonna go glare. It's, it's passive damage, it can kill enemies that are close to us. Piercing is good to have. The thing is, we already have infinite piercing. When you charge the crossbow, it gains piercing. You don't even have to charge it fully. In fact, the crossbow just has piercing innate, I think. So... We don't need piercing, we don't need bullet speed. We would only take that tree for the assassinate ability. Actually, you know what, that's not true. There's probably um, synergies with the, with the tree. I always forget about that. We can look up the synergies if we want just by going into this menu. Summon Mastery, Vengeful Ghost and Dual Wield, Mini Clip, Fanfire and Fresh Clip, Overload, Stand Your Ground, Frost Fire, Gun Mastery, Armed and Ready, Power Shot, Rapid Fire, and Death Rounds, Reaper Rounds and Light Bullets. We actually don't need Death Rounds. Although Death Rounds, there's a good reason to have Death Rounds, which is that it's really good with the uh, Splinter Shots. These shots, small ones, they'll gain 10 damage per bullet. It's actually kind of nice. So we want to get to Fusillade immediately. So we'll just start that path. For a second I thought we still hadn't killed the first boss, or Elite rather, but no, he died a long time ago. <laughs> just like shoot into the distance, run in that direction, pick up the loot, rinse and repeat. Trained dragon. I forgot that we had the dragon. Let's get that dragon leveled up. Because we're, we're almost certainly going to go into, like, heavy... You attack faster. We're almost certainly going to go into heavy, um... Dragon upgrades. Hold on. Need to run for a minute. This is why you need run and gun for this guy. But, we don't have it yet. You're not gonna get me. There we go. Bullet damage down? No. Bullet damage way up. Possibly. Bullet bounce? We don't need it. I guess we'll go Tome of Power, bullet size up. Fire rate's a little bit lower, but the bullet damage up. I don't think it affects the damage of the dagger, but it does affect our damage, which is good. Okay, double dagger. Good for the bullet size. Yeah, I mean... We don't want 
fire rate up. We don't want the thing that has, you know, you have three ammo as opposed to one, because that just lowers your damage too much. This is what we want. Give me a Tome of Power. Actually, what I want is Fusilade, but it still hasn't shown up. Guess we need to charge a little bit longer to kill those eyeballs. Aged Dragon? I mean, he's... That dragon should surely pop in like... Oh, there it goes. It's <laughs> gonna say, it's been a while. Dude, when you can just like clear a whole line of enemies, it's so good. Hey, place pool. Thank you for the resub as well. How you doing? Welcome. Oh, max ammo plus two. That's what we want. I completely forgot about the fact that we even had glare, but let's go for the max ammo plus two first. It gives us more uh, capability. And then we'll definitely try to find... Um, What was it? We'll try to find um, Fusilade soon, because doubling our projectiles would be nice. We need to take Fanfire to get to it. Gubonic Lettuces, I'm doing the XXXXXXXL challenge, and Isaac, any tips? Um, don't think of it as a challenge, just think of it as a long run and play normally. Or if you can get the shovel, you just get the shovel and play well, and then skip the whole floor, every floor. I think my XXXXL challenge was like two hours long or something when I did it. But that's because that's the challenge. The challenge is, can, can you save your butt enough? Will your butt survive sitting for two hours while you do this Isaac challenge? Dun, 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 dun. Although, You know what? We could just right-click at this point. I guess our rate of fire is good enough that, um... <laughs> yeah. That seems like it's doing a pretty alright job. I don't really know what's going on, but that's fine. Place Bull says I'm sneaking some Abe at work. Oh, nice. <laughs> I approve uh, immensely. I don't know. Maybe maybe Abby's actually pretty good with the crossbow. It's got piercing now. Abby's ability does fire it pretty quickly. Honestly, it feels like it's working better just by right clicking. I'm also liking the fanfire shots, though. Blazing speed. Mag uh, give me magnetism. I gotta remember, right-clicking while you're moving is totally fine. And now we have Fusilade. Oh my god. It's beautiful. Electromage, Ghost Friend, Pyromage, Vitality. Well, it's a chance of inflicting burn. This doesn't seem that good for us. Neither does Ghost Friend, but I guess if we're going for summons, we actually would like that eventually. So right click as you're trying to pick up everything. working pretty well. Recharge. Every XP pickup has a chance to give you your ammo back. That actually does seem nice with the the weapon. When you have to reload less often, you're usually pretty happy about things. And I can just keep right-clicking while I'm picking up all the ammo. And by ammo, I mean experience, although it turns into ammo. 
We're about to get to the next wave though, which is gonna gonna suck a little bit. This is the wrong time. <laughs> yeah, give me more pickup range. I don't mind. We're not really doing all that much damage to these enemies individually now, but if we charge up a shot, we can still kill them. I guess if I wanted to, I could probably just stand still and just keep right clicking. It's not really killing any enemy individually, but it is kind of keeping everything at bay. track, doesn't it? <laughs> well, now we're approaching what is probably the hardest point in the game here. The next, like, four minutes. And you. But, hey, if I just kind of stand still, rapid fire, let my, uh, my summons do the work for me. I don't really know why we're getting this, uh, the burn happening. Why are we getting burn? Oh, the dragon! The dragon does burn. I forgot. Well, I did, I certainly did not think that we would actually be using the right-click ability as this character, but here we are. Fan fire and knockback is, is keeping us safe while we're dealing with this guy. Although I did just lose my shield, so maybe I should pay a little bit more attention. Damage of glares doubled, movement speed up. Your bullets have a chance to burn, your bullets have a chance to freeze. Freeze is still good, but... <sighs> just give me the, um... the glare. It's not particularly good, but it's something. Any passive damage to enemies that are near me seem okay. Increase movement speed and reload rate by 35% for two seconds after reloading. Movement speed and reload rate for two seconds after reloading. So basically, if you right click, you have a faster reload rate forever. Okay, well let's right click then. Click some more. We're super fast, things can't get near us. Although if you ever do charge a shot with the crossbow, you kind of lose your reload rate bonus. So, I guess you just spam right click. Sure, you're not getting that much damage I suppose out of the crossbow, but you are getting great crowd control. Although unfortunately you can't really control the direction that gets crowd controlled. Just that it happens somewhere around you. <laughs> you know what, we need siege. That would actually be a nice upgrade to have. A chance to not use ammo when standing still. We're standing still a lot of the time. Careful. Dude, I love the, the like wave of knockback. <sighs> I guess we're just gonna just keep chilling. We do a we have a lot of knockback on something. 
I don't know what upgrade is doing. I, I mean, it's probably just the crossbow. Oh no, we got more knockback from Tome of Power. That's probably what's doing it. So since I'm using more right clicks, I would definitely go for like more projectiles and more bounces now. Because the reason why I wasn't doing it before was that we were charging our crossbow. Now we're not really charging our crossbow that much. Our, the run has changed. It's also taking us a long time to kill anything. But we're very safe while we're doing it. Wow, this guy really sucks, doesn't he? <laughs> so there's run and gun finally. Um, I think we're just gonna go saccade. What the hell, is saccade? I think we're just gonna go um, little ghost friend. Have him shoot where I'm aim aiming, which is up here. Hold on, charge up. This guy is really annoying. He, he fires really quickly. Keep right clicking. There's a lot, a lot of bullets on the screen. That's not that many. There's a lot of enemies on the screen. Explosive enemies too. We're not really doing that much damage to this guy, I feel. He is not dead yet. But as long as I dodge and keep right clicking, eventually him and the other boss will die. I don't know how I dodged that. I mean, I've got my ghost friend shooting at him, too. Come on. Dude, the right click is saving me. <laughs> if only it would fire in the right direction that I needed to fire in at the right moment, as opposed to be random. Okay, he's dead. Fire rate up, bullet damage down. You know, I'm actually really tempted to take this, because then we could... Triple base ammo, we could just right-click all the time. But... I think we'll actually go summon damage up, summon attack speed up, reload rate down. We're reloading fast enough. It's not really that much of a reload penalty. Fire rate up, spread up. Bullet damage down, knock back down, triple your base ammo. You know what? If we take this, I don't think we're gonna die. I think we're, we're gonna be able to just right click and keep everything at bay long enough that we'll we'll live. Man, the game is really laggy right now. <laughs> It is, the game is actually running at 20 FPS. 14, 13. I guess there's too many enemies on screen. I think this was a bad upgrade. I think this was a bad upgrade. <laughs> uh, please give me some in attack speed. I've, I've got to charge up shots, I think. Stop giving me the upgrades. Damage, size, fire rate down. I kind of feel like I do need the, the big shot now that we've reduced our damage. We gotta get back to a point where our bullets are actually capable of killing enemies. And you know what, I think that was enough. 20 FPS till dawn. <laughs> That's kind of what the game turned into, isn't it? Bullet damage up, piercing shots. Now our right click is going to crush, I hope. Oh yeah, that's much better. 
We, we've had to adjust the run on occasion. I think we n now need that piercing, clearly. Damage of glare occurs twice as often. Sure, give me some crowd control. And now we got big enemies, too, to deal with. Okay, you finally died. Doubles how fast you fire during your right click. Okay, well, so in other words, just right click. Increase my damage. We are we are definitely uh, <laughs> at a point where the right click is the way to go. We've reduced our damage enough with that tome that the fire rate's what we want. I mean, we could increase the fire rate even more. I think we just want the reload rate up. And increase bullet damage after reloading. I mean, I right click and the whole clip goes immediately, so this seems great. All right, well, we're gonna live. It got a little close in there, for sure. And we we definitely did not use Abby's right-click reload at all early, but then we started using it, and everything's good now. Take aim. Bullet speed up, spread down. I don't think we need that. I don't think we really need movement speed either, but I'll take it. Maybe I can just walk around and collect a little bit more experience before we, uh finish in 51 seconds. Break out of my little bubble here. You know, I actually think we could still work with the uh, the tap shooting. Reload rate up, bullet damage up, max ammo down. I don't think that's what we want. I don't think we even want summon mastery. I'm just gonna take, take aim. Sure, we would only have one bullet in the clip, but, I mean, we fire six shots, five shots, in like a tenth of a second. Going down to one ammo doesn't really make this run any better. Not with Abby, anyways. Summon Mastery. Still trying to get me to do uh, Summon, huh? How about no? Let's just go for Magic Lens and right click for seven seconds. Level 35. Not a very high level, but we're gonna we're gonna make it. Oh God. <laughs> Good run, honestly. We used a uh, probably an improper loadout, but Abby crossbow's now been completed. Right click to quickly shoot all of your remaining ammo in random directions. Once we had like six, pro we, did we even get fusillade? I'm sure we did. Once you have like six shots, like six projectiles, three ammo in your clip, then the right click is a little bit more useful as Abby here. But at least early on, the crossbow was good enough to get the job done until we were able to get to that point. Good, good. I've not seen the game get this laggy, says Sauter J. Uh, that's probably because you haven't seen me play it very much on my computer. <laughs> my computer is very laggy in general, so don't worry about it. 